organ of a flower. It is an essential role. Why do we call it as an essential role? Because it is directly involved in sexual reproduction. You already know that flowers are modified replicating fruit, meant for the purpose of sexual reproduction. Ambition and dilution are the essential roles of the flower. Calyx and corolla are the non-essential roles of the flower. Andrician is the main reproductive organ of the flower. So you already know about the symbol, it indicates male. Female is with a plus sign. Okay. What is Andrician? Collection of stamens. What is Andrician? Collection of stamens. What is a stamen then? Individual unit of Andrician, we call it as stamen. Now, stamen structure of it, if you look into, a typical stamen has an anther, filament, the point at which the filament connects to the anther, we call it as connective. This is the structure of a stamen. Stamen consists of an anther. Anther has two lobes. The anther lobes are there. If they are having two lobes, we call it as dithecus. What do we call it as? Dithecus. And if they are having single lobe, the anther we call it as monothecus. Theca means cavity. Diamonds two, dithecus. Two cavities are there in anthers, anther lobes. We call them as dithecus anthers. If they are having single lobe, as in case of this uh, anther of hibiscus rosa sinensis, they have single lobe. So we generally call it as monothecus anthers. Okay. Now, andrician is also few stamens based on the type of fusion that they have. They are of three types. Stamens are of three types based on the type of fusion that they have. Okay, the fusion can be adelphous, it can be syngenesious, the third variety is synandrous. Adelphous or adelphous, whatever you call it as. Adelphous condition of antrician fusion, what you notice here is only the filaments are fused, the anthers are free. Only the filaments are fused and the anthers are free. We call that condition as adelphus or adelphus condition. Only filaments are fused and anthers are free. So in here you can notice adelphus condition into three types. Monoadelphus, diadelphus, polyadelphus. Diadelphus is very important because it is there for your study and studies. Okay. Monoadelphus you can notice this in the hibiscus flower. That's what a flower, China rose. Okay. What you can notice there is there is a staminal tube. There is a staminal tube. This is the pentapic stigma. This is not stamens. This is the pentapic stigma. The filaments have all fused to form. The filaments have all fused to form a staminal tube. So only the anther lobes are free here. Tip of the filaments are free. But the filaments have all fused to form a bundle. We call it a staminal tube. So since they are having a single bundle, what do you call it as? Mono adelphus condition. Only the filaments are fused. And if you look into the anther, anther is monothecus, I have already told you. And they are kidney shaped. Kidney shaped or bean shaped. So we call it as reniform anther. If they are kidney shaped or bean shaped, what do we call it as? Reniform anther. So mono adelphus stamens, monothecus anthers, reniform anthers, pentaphyl stigma. If you dissect this staminal tube, you can find a very slender stipe, which is within this staminal tube. How is the staminal tube formed? By the fusion of the filaments. There are many stamens are there, so we call it as infinite. Okay? This is what you notice in case of hibiscus flower. You can notice this mono adelphus stamens, monothecus anthers, then reniform anthers, pentaphyl stigma. Okay? What do the petals show? They show the uh, estivation, twisted estivation or contorted estivation. Okay? That is about mono adelphus stamens. Diadelphus stamens, this is very important for you because it is the diagnostic feature or salient feature of Fabaceae family. Fabaceae includes all the pulses, red gram, green gram, cow pea, soya bean, ground net, all of them are placed under the pulses which are all placed under the Fabaceae family. Fabaceae has papillonaceous corolla which we have already discussed. Now one more important thing that you can notice in 
class of MACS, yes, they have this 9 plus 1 arrangement. They have two bundles of stamens. Okay. One bundle has 9 of the filament spheres to form a single bundle and only one anther is separate. This is the loner or ekangi. Okay, nine of them, the filaments are fused to form one bundle and the single stamen forms the second bundle. So why we have put brackets here is they are all fused in the filaments. Adelpha Sadhitaksha, they are all fused in the filaments. And the suffering. Nine plus one arrangement you notice here. So diadelpha stamens. So this bundle is formed by fusion of filaments. This is found if you dissect the papillonaceous carola. Shankar Pushpadali, if you dissect one nodding. Okay, so this is the diadolphus stamens that you have to remember about. Polyadolphus you can notice in citrus flowers. They have many bundles. Three stamens might have fused to form one bundle. Four stamens might have fused to form second bundle. Two stamens might have fused to form third bundle. So they have many bundles where the filaments are fused and the suffering. This you can notice in citrus flowers. Citrus plants you can notice this polyadolphus. Stamens. So there are three types of adhesion based on fusion. If only the filaments are fused, we call it as adelphus. Adelphus stamens they are of three types: monoadelphus, diadelphus, polyadelphus. Monoadelphus has a single bundle. Okay. Diadelphus has two bundles. Polyadelphus has three bundles, many bundles, more than two. So what you all notice in this adelphus condition is only filaments are free, fused. And the sap free. In Cingenesia, second type of fusion of stamens are Cingenesia's variety of Andrixia, where you notice only the anthers are fused, filaments are free. An example for that is Displorate of Sunflower. Sunflower is an inflorescence, you know that. It's a bouquet of flowers. The external part we call it as ray florets. The on the desk what you have flowers, we call it as disc florets. If you take this disc florets and observe the andrichium, five stamens will be there and only the anther lobes are fused, whereas the filaments are free. So if only anthers are fused and filaments are free, we call that condition as syngenaceous. You can notice that in disc florets of sunflower. Okay. Synandrus, S-Y-N, syn or gamo, what does it imply is fused. It implies fused condition. So here yes, synandrous, complete andrisium is fused. Both filaments and anthers are fused. So we call it as synandrous condition. Staminate flower of pumpkin. What is staminate flower? Male flower of pumpkin. This exhibits this synandrous condition. Where both anthers and filaments are free. Kumlukai Uwan you know the male flower salina are there. They are yellowish in shape. You know they are creeper. Uh, okay. So there you find the filaments are fused. This is yellowish in nature. Okay, both the anthers and filaments are fused. You cannot see separate filaments and anthers. They are fused. And if you touch the stock layer, you can feel the pollen grain, yellowish powdery pollen grain. This you notice in the uh, pumpkin flower, main class of pumpkin. Okay, so this where the complete andrisium is fused. Both. Anthers and filaments are fused. We call that condition as synandrous condition. You can see it in the staminate class of pumpkin. These are the things that you have to remember based on the fusion of andrisia. Now, based on shape of anthers, if they are having arrow shaped anthers, we call it as saginate anthers. If they are having kidney shaped or bean shaped anther, we call it as reniform anther. In case of grasses, the anther lobes are present at the, the connective is at the center, anther lobes are free. They can move to the wind because they are all wind pollinated flowers. So the pollen grains are dry and powdery which has to be carried by wind. So when they have the seesaw movement like versatile movement, so this type of anther is called as versatile anther. I have included two terms, epipetalus, in your Malgevu and Dissectman knowledge. A green stalk in the corolla tube, Malgevuan, at the Kankamra And you find here the stamen is attached, the stamen is attached to the corolla tube. 
if they are attached to the petal or corolla tube, we call it as epi petal. As epi means above petal, above the petal. So we call this condition as epi petal. Iga na o periyanti dure, tepal si dure, fillers santa kare. If the stamens are attached to the tepals, what do we call it as? Epi fillers. We call that condition as epi fillers condition. So there is an epi petalous condition where the petals are attached to the corolla uh, tube or the petals. Epi fillers where the uh, stamens are attached to the tepals. So these are the conditions that you have to remember regarding the epi petalous, epi fillers. Then we also discuss about types of andrichia. Okay. So these are important things that you have to remember regarding the andrichia. Any doubts or clarifications?